At just eight years old, Wilson Benoit is all alone. Both of his parents were killed in the earthquake. What goes through your mind when you think about them? I miss them a lot, he tells me. I used to cry all the time. The streets of Port-au-Prince became his home, a filthy fountain, his bath, and this, his bed. Can you show me how you sleep when you sleep at night? Just like that? Determining what's best for kids like Wilson is not easy. There are terrifying but unconfirmed reports of people using the chaos in Haiti as an opportunity to prey on children. So the UN is trying to register these vulnerable kids. They may be subject to uh, exploitation and abuse. And there are concerns about child trafficking. At the same time, there's pressure to cut through the red tape. Heartwarming pictures of legal adoptions approved before the earthquake have prompted a surge of interest at adoption agencies. The phones are just ringing off the hook. But she agrees with aid groups who've called for a temporary halt on new adoptions. It's going to take months to find out if these children really are orphans. On Capitol Hill today, lawmakers push to make sure the process keeps moving. If we're going to wait for the Haitian government to get completely organized, staff back up, you know, in new buildings, dusted off and ready to roll before we act. We'll be waiting for the next 50 years. Talk to them. Yeah. Since we met Wilson a few days ago, he found safe haven in a shelter we were not allowed to see. Of course, he's traumatized and it's it's going to take time to find a good placement for him. But, but like many other children in Haiti, he's finding a way to move forward. We're told the first thing he did was take a shower. That was easy. It's what comes next that's complicated. Seth Doan, CBS News, Port-au-Prince, Haiti.